Let's make a guitar. A guitar is one of the most popular played instruments in the world. Many genres or styles of music, such as classical, Spanish, flamenco, and rock music can be played with a guitar. A guitar consists of a hollow wooded body with six strings stretched over it and along a narrow neck. Guitars usually have a single round sound hole in the body. The strings are strummed or plucked with the fingers. Let's make a guitar. having fun and essentially just being creative even though it doesn't look like it came out of a store it's gonna sound good enough to make us happy and be able to still make music okay so that's a pretty good start on our circle there it's not perfect but it's a whole okay awesome so now we are going to take our rubber bands and we're just going to put them on the outside of the box because a guitar typically has six or twelve strings. There are other types of string instruments out there like the sitar um, that can be that originated in India um, but we're kind of kind of do the they're gonna do the DIY acoustic guitar version. All right, so that's three. You hear the sound already? Cool. All right, so now let's keep on with that's four, five. Kind of position them where you want them. 
And my last string, six. And now I'm going to take, get them positioned where I want them. And we're going to tape this all the way down so that there's a flat surface. Okay. And now I'm going to take the same tape. And I'm going to cover one with my paper, empty paper towel roll, I'm gonna cover the top of it. And this is actually the neck. The neck sits on uh, top of the body. Here's the sound hole. The neck sits on top of the body of most guitars. And it holds what we call a fret and a, a fingerboard. And the, the fret are hard metal strips that you will typically see uh, to kind of keep the strings in place uh, to represent a certain musical note. But we're not gonna do all that detail, but we can draw our own frets on here. Just stay with me and we will be creating our own guitar. So I'm just gonna cover the top of this here because I want a flat surface to be able to attach it to. I'm gonna add one more piece on top. Just like so. So now I've got a flat surface. And I'm going to attach this to the top of my guitar. And there's other ways to do the, uh, the neck. You can create two tubes and stuff it inside the box so that it's strong. There's really many ways to do this. There's no perfect way. Oops. I'm gonna just wrap all the way around I like the color tape because you can use it to cover surfaces really well so I'm actually going all the way up And just making sure I've got most of the pieces covered to keep it locked in place. All right, and we need to be able to create some different vibration for the strings so they don't just sit right on the on the box, uh, or in this case, the body of the guitar. We need some kind of bridge, and the bridge usually sits here and it's where the other end of the strings are attached and it helps translate the vibration of the strings. So if you, that's where the two pencils are gonna come in. So grab two pencils and we're simply gonna put one at the bottom so that there's a little tension there. I'm gonna put another one at the top as well. Now, if you turn the bottom one slightly, you'll notice that the tension shifts and you get more variations. So experiment with moving the bottom one and see what kind of effects you get. You get. So just one more thing. We're gonna add our little tuners at the top for effect and I'm going to take my plastic straw and I'm just going to cut four and 
and I'm going to, so I got them even. I cut one off and then I'm just going to line that up and then just keep going till I have four. So, and there they're even. That's two. Three. And four. Awesome. So now we're going to create our little tuners with our plastic straws. And we're going to simply attach them to each side of our neck. Now I'm going to take a marker and just kind of mark <clears throat> on each side where I want my tuner pegs to go and I want to be careful so I'm going to take my pen here with a sharp point and just kind of poke a little hole in there on each one and then I'm going to pierce all the way through until I get a good size hole for my tuner so you got two holes here and then just take your straw and just feed it through one tuner, another tuner. Let's do the other side with my pen. And now I'm going to take my other two now tuners. They were plastic straws, but they're guitar tuners now. And I'm going to feed these through. A fret. So frets are typically on the guitar hard metal strips, and they're installed on the fingerboard at the top of the neck. And they provide a place for the string to end when pressing down and it represents a musical note. If you notice certain guitar players, they're kind of doing this little thing where they're pressing on frets. So let's create our own frets. And I'm simply just going to draw a few lines here for my frets. And you can do whatever you want here. You can add real pieces of metal. You could use a silver marker if you wanted to, if you really want to be fancy. But we're just doing a quick little demonstration of our own DIY guitar. And this is not the only version you can do. We're going to be making other versions of our guitar. We'll be using different decoration techniques. We'll be using different materials. But in the meantime, what are some materials that you can use on your own? Okay, so we got the majority of the guitar here. We've got our sound opening. We've got our strings with rubber bands. We've got two pencils to add some tension for the body. We have our neck with paper towel roll. We have tape to hold it all in place. We've got our plastic straws for the tuners here, and we are ready to go. How about we add a strap so we don't have to carry this all the way. So let's add a strap. I have a shoestring here, and I'm simply going to just take some more tape. You can use glue. You can use any other type of variation to secure your strap. If you have a guardian with you and... They have cutting utensils. You're welcome to do that with them. So I have, I'm have. i going to cut two pieces of, of the blue tape I've been using. I'm going to add another piece. I'm going to take this. And I'm just going to take this shoestring. And I'm going to take this portion down. And I'm going to take the other side and take it down as well. So now we have 
a strap. D I Y music. D I Y music. 